Okay, so you've actually been in the silver maple, this big silver maple here. We'll get a picture or a video of it here off the side. Yeah, we've done the one lead. You can see the difference in, in the middle that, I, that we've been in versus these lower tips. Yeah, come out to the left side of the tree here, right above the chipper. Uh, you can see a lot of, a lot of dead wood there. And yeah, again, and again it, it's coming down to can we justify in making it safe enough for the client's wants. And I think a safety prune is ideal on this one. The tree is healthy. He's happy with the way that it looks. He just wants, you know, it to be a little bit safer and not drop any more big dead. Because they did have one come down on the house that was dead. So that's that's the main reason we're here. And a safety prune is uh, quite a bit cheaper, though, isn't it? Than yeah, the... you know, we're we're not focusing on the little dead tips everywhere. You know, we're just chasing stuff that's bigger, two yeah. inches in one. I think on our on the spec on this proposal we wrote it up as two inch and larger, um, so that should get rid of a good part of the dead wood there. But uh, yeah, looking good, and got two other. There's three silver maples right in a row here, and uh, uh, yeah, I think he'll be happy with the close to the garage and the house. It should solve his issues for uh, for broken limbs. Matt, and we've got these other two silver maples. Uh, next to the big one here but uh, tell me uh, tell me a little bit about this i mean we're seeing quite a bit of two inch and larger dead wood here yeah so most of the dead is contained on larger limbs so making one cut on the larger piece removes the majority of it uh which is why a safety print is recommended on on these you know other than what we just talked about uh but yeah you, you can see you just make a couple cuts here and it pretty much takes care of all the dangerous stuff uh in in this one and well in both of these and then you can see you know where we haven't been in this other big one so yeah when we get done today it uh we'll try to get some after pictures here when the trees are done but uh, thanks for joining us and we have other videos for tree pruning tree removals you can give us a call anytime be happy to talk to you thank you Okay, I've got Matt out of the trees, been in the tree all day there working on these uh, three silver maples in the front and the locusts out in the back. Uh, Matt, you're out of the trees now. What did you find when you're up in there? How bad was it? And uh, they sure look good now. I've got some, uh, we'll show some after pictures here too. So Yeah, we just tried to target the bigger dead, you know, that going down to about a two inch spec. Uh, and, you know, this is, this is about what the homeowner wanted, you know, not chasing all the little dead stuff everywhere not worried about thinning out the canopy and just more getting that hazardous dead stuff out so if they're thrilled the trees i mean these look fantastic now yeah that big silver maple that i'm uh, in looking at here on the right by the driveway that we may i just measured that a little bit ago it's 158 inch circumference it's actually one of the bigger uh, silver maple trees that that we see in this town yeah it's a big one uh how big a wood were you getting at what were some of the biggest limbs so the, big, the biggest stuff up in there was about 10 10 inches in diameter or so. And I mean, some big, there was some big pieces in there. So in these big silver maples, we start to see them kind of rot out in the middle. It's kind of typical. Did you see some of that? Oh yeah, there's a lot of rot. There, a lot of, all the dead that we cut was starting to get hollow in the middle. So, um, what it's more? It's all squirrel damage and frost damage. Right. So the, the homeowner, you know, because of the garage over there and the house was worried about high winds and the... Yeah, they had that one piece come down, which is why we're here. Right. So. And if uh, if you were going to do a complete prune, I mean, you'd be going through the tree in a lot more detail, obviously. Yeah, you know, this is just real basic, just the big dead. Let's go over and take a look at this, like this silver maple right here. It's got some issues going on. Or they probably all have issues. Yeah, it was probably hit by a car at one point. Yeah. That's my guess. Well, it looks good. Uh, 
uh, like I say, we'll get the before pictures on and the after pictures. And uh, and sure, it's uh, they really cleaned up nice. A big big difference. So thanks again. We got a lot of videos now on the on the on YouTube. So be sure and look at a bunch of them. Give us a call if we can help you out with anything. Thank you.